He said he tried to restrain the Prime Minister. Remember, they were friends, or still are friends, according to uh, Mr Kwarteng. He says that he learned of his sacking uh, with a tweet from a journalist as he was being driven from the airport to number 10. And when he got there, he told the Prime Minister she would be mad to go through with it. He also says uh, that she was quite emotional. So let's take a listen. Um, and so I got to Downing Street. I went into the Cabinet room. The Prime Minister was quite sort of distressed and... Uh, you know, emotional. And, uh, what do so, you mean by distress? Well, I think she was, you know, she, it was difficult. So, you know, we're friends, we're, we're, we're old colleagues. And I, and I said, you've got, I mean, this is mad. I mean, prime ministers don't get rid of chancellors. Um, and I thought that, uh, I, I actually, I think I said to her at the time, I think I said this is going to last three or four weeks. Little did I know it was only going to be six days. Simon, interested to know, did Mr Kwarteng accept any responsibility? Uh, he did. He didn't say uh, sorry. He said that interest rates have uh, recovered since the turbulence, which is a word that politicians like using, of course. Uh, another phrase that was added to the Westminster Dictionary, of course, after that so-called mini-budget on September the 23rd was a kamikaze uh, budget. Will we ever see its like again, an uncosted budget that causes uh, chaos? Um, he, here's a bit more from the interview. He uh, says that uh, the Prime Minister uh, thought that she was on borrowed time. I said actually after the budget, that because we were going very fast, uh, even after the mini-budget, we were going at breakneck speed. And I said, um, you know, we should slow down, slow down. And what did she say? And she said, well, I've only got two years. And I said, you'll have two months if you carry on like this. And that's, I'm afraid, what happened. So a bit of finger-pointing. Actually, at the time, the Prime Minister said that she didn't know about one of the tax cuts until the uh, Chancellor actually announced it in the Commons. We still haven't had an interview from the former Prime Minister, uh, Truss, about her eventful 44 days in charge. I'm sure we will get to her side of the story when that finally happens. I'm sure we will. Simon, live in Westminster, thank you.